Hello everyone. Today I'm doing a Copic tutorial for Flourish's stamps. I'm using their new He Is Risen set and today I'm going to be colouring the cross. Now I'm going to do these lilies as the pink ones with the stripes through the middle, your classic sort of tiger lily look, um, using the brand new Candy Pink collection which is RV000, RV52, RV55 and RV66. Now lilies, these particular lilies that I'm doing are actually white on the edges. So what I'm going to do is take my RV000 but not right out to the edge, just inside the edge. So the, the lilies are still pink but they have that classic white edge. Next I'm going to take RV52, which is one of the brand new Copic colours released this year. And I'm going to bring that colour in, but not quite as far in, far out as I did with the RV000. Then I'm going to take RV55. And this is what I'm going to use for that classic stripe. Try and frick it out a little. And soften around it a little with the next lightest colour. So I'm just going to soften around it with RV52. And RV000. This way the lilies still look pink they still have that white edge. If you go a little bit too far or you want to soften the edges you can always use your zero or your colourless blender just to go around the edge if you want to soften those edges a little. Now I want to make the, the throat of the petal just a little bit darker so I'm adding a little bit of RV66 there for a bit more contrast and bringing it out with my RV55. You just keep layering your colour until you're happy with the, the way your petal is looking. See, I'm not really circling, I'm doing more of a flicking motion. Petals tend to be a bit more stripy or streaky anyway. Now I want to add spots to my petals. So I'm just going to take RV66 and very, very lightly, so that the marker barely touches the paper, add some dots. And there you have it. Next I'm going to show you how to do some of the greenery using another of Flourish's brand new colour collections, which is Pistachio, using G40, G43 and G46. I always start with my lightest colour. It's always easier to add a little bit of dark than to take it away. So I'm colouring in my leaves in G40 and my stem. Just doing a few here. Next take G43 and add it where the darker parts of your image would be your flower. So under the petals here just down this side on the underside of this leaf. A little here and a little here because I want this section of that leaf to be the highlight because it looks like it's got a bit of a curve to it. And just on the underside here. Now to get some real interest to your image it's always good to add a bit more contrast which is adding um, some darker colour, much darker colour compared to your lighter, leaving light and shadow. So I'm adding some G46 and a bit more here. But see how we've got some very pale area and very light area. That's what makes this stand out a little bit more. Under here. Under there. 
once again always blend with your next lightest colour. A little bit of 43, a little bit of G43 just to blend that out a little. And I could leave that or you can add a little bit of G40. I don't really want to go back and add much G40 because I want to leave that as more of a highlight. And there you go. Now I'm also going to show you how I am going to colour the cross in a wood grain effect. And I'm actually going to use two, two colour ranges from Flourishes, which is the Creamy Collection and the New Walnut Collection. So the E51, E53 are from the Creamy Collection and E55 and E57 are from their new Walnut Collection. I'm going to start once again with my lightest colour, which is E51. And I'm going to colour in the base of this cross. Now I am colouring in circles. I really want this to be quite well covered. It makes the colours easier to blend. Next I'm bringing in a little bit of E53. Now I'm using the side of the brush to just add some well, kind of stripes or streaks really, but keeping them fairly broad. Same with E55. Once again using the side of my brush nib see I'm just sort of flicking it in you can make it as dark or as light as you like now I'm going to use E57 but this time I'm actually going to use more of the point of the brush and just do it down the side of some of that E55 that we've just laid down not too much so there's our base now we go back in the same way using the side of the brush of the previous two colours, which is 55 and 53. Just sort of going over it, but notice I'm not circle blending at all. Because if you start circle blending this, you're going to lose the whole grainy effect of this cross. Keep working this until you get the look that you're going for. If you feel like you've added a bit too much, you can always go back and add the streaks back in again. It's a beauty, you can keep adding your colour until you're happy with the result. Now remember under your leaves it's going to be a little bit darker there so remember to add a bit more depth under there where the shadows would be. And a little E57 under there. And there you have it. It's pretty easy once you know how. So keep colouring the rest of your image until you're left something like this.